Pensioners over 65 on the lowest incomes will soon start receiving an additional benefit from community care called Household Support Supplement. This will be paid alongside the existing household cost allowance, which has been historically paid by the charity since its inception. The move follows representations to the charity from the government on behalf of the Gibraltar Private Sector Workers and Pensioners Association. Well, here to explain what it all means and how it will work is Minister for Economic Development, Joe Bossano. Good evening, Mr Bossano. Thank Hello. you for joining us. Well, firstly, can you explain how will it work and also what is the minimum figure pensioners can expect to receive given that it's calculated on the minimum wage 60 or 90 percent depending on whether you're a single person or, or whether you're a couple yeah well the minimum figure would be one pound because if the 90 percent is 981 and you're getting 980 it would be one pound and if you're getting one pound then you would get 980 so you know the, the concept is an arithmetic concept so 980 is is the top it's figure couple, then is, right. yes and that is what um, uh, 6,000 workers, mainly in the private sector, get as their take-home pay now, because, you know, they, they get uh, at the rate of £6.45, which is the, the minimum wage this year, they would get 1,090 gross, then they would pay the stamp, the social insurance stamp, which is 10% of their pay, and that leaves them with 90%. That 90%, as from the final quarter of this year, will be the standard that the uh, charity community care will guarantee that our pensions do not fall below. And therefore, it will supplement what is already being paid as household cost allowance, because the household cost allowance takes them uh, part of the way in bridging the gap, but not all the way. So this is filling the gap between the level arrived at by the household cost allowance and the balance that is left between one thing and the other. And of course that takes them in line with people who are possibly much younger earning the minimum wage as well. So Well, there are people who, who are 64 and earning that wage because, you know, I mean, in, in, in big areas of the private sector we have a service economy, you know, in, in the retail trade and in, and, in, and in the hospitality trade, many people are on the minimum wage. They only get a pay rise, frankly, because the government legislates making it compulsory. Uh, and, you know, it was a socialist government that introduced the minimum wage in Gibraltar, and we actually introduced it in Gibraltar before it was introduced by the Labour government in the UK. Now, given that there are about 6,000 pensioners, and you've said only a few hundred will actually benefit from this, are you That's expecting right. that there'll be quite a large amount who, who might be disappointed, particularly those who come very close to the threshold, the cut-off point, maybe exceeding it by just a few pounds? Yeah. Well, I think that is true of any, any time that you put anything which requires, you know, I mean, people get rent relief. Well, there are people who will miss a rent relief because their income is one pound uh, above the threshold. I mean, you cannot do it any other way. But remember that the threshold is not an arbitrary figure. The, the, the threshold has been, I think, uh, thought out by the, by the charity on the basis that if people are deemed to need at least the minimum wage in order to be able to maintain a household, then the household cost allowance on top of the old age pension is not enough to put them in that level unless it is the maximum. There are many people below the maximum. I think there's only something like one third of our pensioners have actually paid enough insurance contributions to be on 100% of the full, of the old age pension. Let me just ask you, the Private Sector Workers and Pensioners Association, they've been lobbying um, uh, for a number of years for uh, occupational pensions um, in the private sector. Have you spoken to or consulted with them about this measure and do you think it will deliver what, they, what they've been asking for, what they want? Well, I don't think it will deliver uh, to all of them because there will be people there who will be above this threshold. But uh, they've been having meetings with the chief minister. I have been involved simply in, in putting uh, to pen to paper and producing different calculations by different parameters, and that was given to the charity. And, and you know, this, this will cost a charity something like half a million pounds a year. OK, and one final question. Um, 
it could still be the case that a private sector worker who retired without an occupational pension who paid into the social fund may still find themselves uh, without uh, you know that additional funding there well no because you see the, the at the moment people who fall below the minimum old age pension which is uh, people who have contributed nine years and 51 week for one week miss out on the pension then they fall back on something that is provided by the social services which is the minimum income guarantee okay so that is the people who are on the minimum income guarantee will be supplemented as well 